Hi, my name is Adam. And uh, one of the things that I like to do is walk through neighborhoods, through the woods, through parks, and on mountains. I like to walk. So join me, and together we'll take a step to see the world. Welcome back to the abandoned series, Walking with Adam. The pandemic has been a fantastic time to get out and about. And something really doesn't smell right over here. But I'm over here today because of this movie theater. All of the movie theaters almost are closed right now. A few of them have reopened. Um, one of the cinemaplexes in a city close to here actually turned themselves um, partial, the partial building into a drive-through or a drive-in, not a drive-through, <laughs> uh, which was, you know, that's enterprising. That's cool to keep themselves going. But here I am at the Movies on TV theater, and it's been closed since I think March, sometime in March, like everything else. Um, this, this lot isn't totally abandoned. There are a few other businesses. Here's a doggy washing place. Dog's day out. It looks like they're still open. They got some uh, cars there. And way back over there in the lot, there is a dentist office that is my dentist office, actually. And uh, they're still busy. They still got customers and workers. And there's this truck that parked right over there while well, I was walking through the parking lot and they're still sitting there. I don't know what they're doing. Huh. Okay. Anyway, so on to this. Good theater. Um, but I don't know how it's going to reopen. Because unless they box up all your snacks and stuff without ever touching them, like popcorn and chips and stuff before you order them like pre-boxed how, how are concessions going to work like that and also uh, it had already gotten to the point where you had to have assigned seating which was complete bullshit honestly had to choose your seat before you uh, went into the theater once the movie started, you can move any pla damn place you wanted, but before the movie started, you have to be seated in your seat. There's a lot of fireworks on the ground over here. That's, that's a big open place to do it. See, there's doggy day, uh, doggy day out here. I can even hear a dog barking. Lots of cars there. But this theater, which my parents would move into if they could, because they're, I swear, when the theater was open, they were here almost every night watching one or two movies. Um, it's closed, and it's been closed for a while. And yeah, I just, I know when they reopen, they're gonna have to, you know, have complete rows where people aren't allowed to sit. Um, but. Uh, even then, I mean, that's just a long period of time sitting there. And people aren't going to be wearing masks in the dark, most likely. You can't trust them to keep it on while they're, you know, munching and stuff. And when I eat popcorn, the little seeds get caught in my throat and I cough, you know? So, it's not Corona, it's popcorn. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So when the theater first closed, all the schools closed around the same time. And uh, there was a bunch of high school students that worked here, of course. And up here, on the reader signs, they had uh, congratulations, you know, to the different kids who worked here. Now it says, see you soon. Kind of ominously. Here's a birthday party room. 
and they got the graduates. Picture's still up, that's cool. I have no idea who that is. My parents would know all of these people by name because like I said, they like live here. Don't know who that is. <laughs> Uh, that's kind of a melancholy picture. Don't know any of these people. And the doors are obviously locked. I'm not going to try it too much because I don't want any security alarms going off. I'm just here to uh, walk around the closed building, you know, the abandoned theater. Here is the box office. Advertising their $21 per month plus tax for Regal Unlimited, which is actually a really good deal if you're like my parents and you're here every damn day. And they had just joined that and then coronavirus happened. <laughs> Felt so bad for them. Oh, you know what? I hear I hear an alarm going off already. I don't know any of these people, but like I said, if I were my, my mom or dad, I'd know all these people by name. Because my parents aren't, they don't just come to the movies every day. They're also extremely friendly people. Every restaurant they go to, every um, theater they go to, every place they go to, they get buddy buddy and chummy chummy with the people who work there and that's cool you know they they learn everybody's names sometimes they even become friends and call each other and hang out and it's just it boggles my mind they can do that and here i am touring an empty building <laughs> with the alarm going off i heard that I, I seriously hope i wasn't the one who set that off i barely touched that door but yeah, that, there's an alarm going off there already. Hey, and there's a police car. Come to check out the alarm, probably. And that's perfectly fine. I did not try to break in. I really did not. But yeah, thanks to uh, COVID-19, there's a whole bunch of abandoned places around town. Um, Mostly restaurants, although some of the restaurants have reopened, which is cool. Uh, but the theater, I just, I don't know. These places aren't cheap to run. I really don't know how they're going to reopen this place. I really don't. Um, I mean, it's it's a big footprint. It's a big footprint, big piece of real estate. So it's you know. That's expensive as is to uh, maintain. And you've got the employees, mostly young people, probably not getting paid too well, but they do have a skill. And, uh, you know, I'm not certain if, um, what, the Projectors Guild is, I mean, Projectors uh, oh, what, a Union is still a thing but if they are then there's some union involvement too they gotta do um, but yeah it's just it's empty and even this many months later this is August now I mean this place has been closed down for a good five months it just doesn't seem right it just doesn't seem right <sighs> and I remember when this place was first opening um, they were showing free movies, older movies, to get people interested in the theater, you know? Come check it out and stuff. And one of my friends, my good friends, had not seen Jurassic Park yet. So I took him here to see that. And when the Tyrannosaurus Rex attacked the Jeeps, um, after that was over, boy, he was on the edge of his seat and he said, holy shit. I'm glad I got to see it on the big screen, really. There are certain movies that kind of need to be seen on a big screen just to uh, 
give the impression of just how big some things are supposed to be rather than on a TV. You know, I'm kind of impressed. I'm walking around here. I'm kind of impressed there's not a whole bunch. I mean, there is some trash, but it's not like a dump. <laughs> like, uh, you know, five months of no maintenance might suggest. So maybe somebody's still coming around and cleaning up. I mean, there's, there's a, there are a few things, but there isn't a whole lot on the ground of trash. And that's great. That's great. Really nice. So, I'm going to turn around here to the, uh, here's the uh, trash. Looks like there's actually some stuff there. I don't know. There's some generators there too. Oh, that's a trash compactor. Okay. Well, yeah, this is in Hillsborough, Oregon. Getting towards Hillsborough, anyway. There's a sign not too far down the street that says Hillsborough isn't for another five miles, but everyone calls this Hillsborough. <laughs> Yeah, I was wondered where those stairs went. Doing his job, doing his job. Well, he's making sure nobody's getting in trouble, really. Just doing his job. But this is actually a really nice, wonderful theater when it's open. Um, I've never had a negative moment here. Well, maybe I have. No, that was a different theater. That was a different theater. Which is also abandoned. Which I also might show off because it has a very lovely campus to it. But yeah. There you go. There you go. Nice theater. Tall theater. Look at that. Mm -hmm. It's a nice place. But uh, I'm looking. I can't tell if that light down there on the soda machine, or I think that's a slurpy machine is from the slurpy machine or if it's from the sunlight peeking in through the windows but it doesn't matter it's time to go because that cop is staring directly at me well, that's fine but i hope this place does reopen sometime it does say see you soon but uh i think they were aiming for like the end of this month i don't know how they're going to do it though so anyway, there you go. That's the Movies on TV Movie Theater.